Hajde, vezi ako da sam neći Mergem Ako da mergem, da sam neći Kde je pekolo po undeva? Pekolo prin munci Nu mai mă strânge că mi-e cald, eu vreau! Câte insecte! Lasă-mă să profit de motorul ăsta Uite ce frumos e încolo Uite ce frumos se vede
everybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. We don't read and write poetry because it's cute. We read and write poetry because we are members of the human race, and the human race is filled with passion. Medicine, law, business, engineering, these are noble pursuits necessary to sustain life. Poetry, beauty, romance, love. These are what we stay alive for. Oh, me, oh, life of the questions of these recurring, of the endless trains of the faithless, of cities filled with the foolish. What good amid these, oh, me, oh, life? Answer. Strive to find your own voice. Because the longer you wait to begin, the less likely you are to find it at all. Thoreau said most men lead lives of quiet desperation. Don't be resigned to that. Break out. Conformity. The difficulty in maintaining your own beliefs in the face of others. For those of you, I see the look in your eyes like, I would have walked differently. Ask yourselves why you are clapping. We all have a great need for acceptance. But you must trust that your beliefs are unique, your own, even though others may think them odd or unpopular, even though the herd may go, that's bad. <laughs> Robert Frost said, two roads diverged in the wood, and I, I took one less traveled by. And that has made all the difference. If I asked you about art, you'd probably give me the skinny in every art book ever written. Michelangelo. I know a lot about him. Life's work, political aspirations, him and the Pope, sexual orientation, the whole works, right? But you can't tell me what it smells like in the Sistine Chapel. You never actually stood there and looked up at that beautiful ceiling. Seen that. If I ask you about women, Probably give me a silver set of your personal favorites. You may have even been laid a few times. But you can't tell me what it feels like to wake up next to a woman if you're truly happy. If I ask you about war, you'd probably uh, throw Shakespeare at me, right? Once more into the breach, dear friends. But you've never been near one. You've never held your best friend's head in your lap. Watch him gasp his last breath, looking to you for help. I ask you about love. Probably quote me a sonnet. But you've never looked at a woman and been totally vulnerable. Known someone that could level you with her eyes. Feeling like God put an angel on earth just for you. Who could rescue you from the depths of hell. And you wouldn't know what it's like to be her angel have that love for her be there forever, through anything, through cancer. And you would know about sleeping, sitting up in a hospital room for two months, holding her hand, because the doctors could see in your eyes that the terms visiting hours don't apply to you. You don't know about real loss, because that only occurs when you love something more than you love yourself. I doubt you've ever dared to love anybody that much. Dar chiar nu se grăbesc! Uite ce fain e drumul! Pentru că nu vă vedeți, nu vă vedeți. 
I'll make this as simple as I can. What's wrong with death? What are we so mortally afraid of? Why can't we treat death with a certain amount of humanity and dignity and decency and, God forbid, maybe even humor? Death is not the enemy, gentlemen. If we're going to fight a disease, let's fight one of the most terrible diseases of all, indifference. We're all dying, Truman. Our job is to increase health. You know what that means? That means improving the quality of life, not just delaying death. Now, you ask me if I've been practicing medicine. Well, if this means opening your door to those in need, those in pain, caring for them, listening to them, applying a cold cloth until a fever breaks, if this is practicing medicine, if this is treating a patient, then I am guilty as charged, sir. Transference is inevitable, sir. Every human being has an impact on another. That's why you treat a disease, you win, you lose. You treat a person, I guarantee you, you win, no matter what the outcome. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. The Latin term for that sentiment is carpe diem. Who knows what that means? Seize the day. Gather ye rosebuds while ye may. Why does the writer use these lines? Because we are food for worms, lads. Because believe it or not, each and every one of us in this room is one day to stop breathing, turn cold, and die. But the world is their oyster. They believe they're destined for great things. Just like many of you, their eyes are full of hope. Just like you. Did they wait till it was too late to make from their lives even one iota of what they were capable of? I know you hate your job and you don't have many friends and I know sometimes you feel a little uncoordinated and you don't feel as wonderful as everybody else and feeling as alone and separate as you feel you are and I think you're the greatest thing since Spice Rex. The universe at its essence, every element has its place in it. You can't change that. It's secure no matter what. How kind is it to give life, only to take it away again? What's true in our minds is true. Whether some people know it or not. Just keep going. Find that thing you love, because it's tough work. But I think if you can find that thing that really gives you joy, that'll be it. Any conclusion? Losing it? Yeah. Pushed it right to the edge. <laughs> Sometimes when you win, you lose. Come? Da, da, vezi pentru motor, ce fain e! Onde? 
Am crezut că e în față, l-ai văzut. 